All right, checking your car battery with a multimeter. Let it be known before we start this process, this is just a basic check. This is not a guarantee of the health of your battery or the health of your starter. This is a simple check that you can do at home. And also keep in mind that your local auto store will do a starter, battery, and alternator check for free. If you wanna get an idea of checking your battery and you have a manual ranging multimeter like this one, put it to volts DC. It's likely gonna have a 20 setting. Go ahead and put it there. And then make sure that your leads are in the right ports. This red lead is set up to the V for voltage and black lead to COM for common. And I'm gonna do two different checks. The first check I'm gonna do is red to positive, black to negative, and we're gonna see about 12.46 volts. That's not bad, but that's not great. A fully perfect charge lead acid battery like this, I think should come back around 12.6 or 12.7. The next thing I'm gonna do is start the vehicle and recheck the battery. Now be careful when the vehicle is running, things are spinning around in here, it can be dangerous. So watch your fingers and your hands and all of that. Okay, now that the vehicle's running, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second measurement. I'm gonna see 13.64. That voltage that we're seeing now and the reason why it's higher is the alternator output voltage. The alternator is trying to charge the battery right now. How do you know if it's enough voltage that the alternator is outputting? As long as that number is higher than the first number that you have, there's a difference in potential and the alternator is charging the battery. Also let it be known that if you have a newer vehicle equipped with a smart charging system, the alternators will toggle on and off depending on if the battery needs charging or not. So if the vehicle's been running for a minute, and the battery's already been recharged, it may not show a higher number because that the alternator is not outputting the voltage. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, this isn't a guarantee of everything, that everything's working properly, but it will give you an idea of the state of charge of your battery and if your alternator is contributing to the charging. I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. 